Hey guys, Sean with American Window Concepts, and today we're gonna do something on scene. We are going to remove a sliding patio door and put in a French door for a customer. Let's check it out. Okay, so as you can see from the inside, we still have the blinds up. Uh, we have the sliding patio door. All of this is gonna come out, frame and all, and we're gonna put in a retrofin French door. It's gonna look really, really good. So, see you on the other side. Fun stuff. Put it here for now. Okay, watch your step. All right, now for the fun part. Looking for anything down in the track here. So I'll take out the flat bar because you don't want to start trying to yank on this thing. Careful now, guys. Nice and easy, don't, don't go too fast. Oh, mama. That's beautiful. That is how you want it done. That is amazing. Okay, so half inch, half inch. It's gotta go that way, just a touch. Let's see what we got, that looks good. Let's check it, keep going down. Okay, that's nice and flat. Yeah, I like that, that looks good. So let's take a look at the other side. So I need to set these in a little further. What I'm doing is I'm making sure that these jams are 100% level. They have to be level, especially whenever you're dealing with a uh, swinging door. Always checking my work after I do anything. Always checking, checking, checking. You make any move, any change, check it because it could be the one that throws you off. No gaps, bubble in the center. Okay, now for the top, I'm gonna use a smaller level because what I don't want this thing to do is you, as you're screwing it in, you don't want this thing to crown on you. What I might do is I might put a stack of shims at the top here because I don't want this to crown at all. So that'll probably be the next move I make right now. Okay, so I'll make these about four inches wide. This is just white interior, or actually this is tan window trim and what i'm going to do is just make a stack of these and the cool thing about this is that they actually stick together they're really cool they're easy to use easy to put together and these things uh, don't break down right like wood does i'll make a nice little stack of these so this is this is different than installing a like a wooden door these doors are relatively easy as long as you mind your level. If you mind your level, these things are, are pretty easy to install. Heavy, very, very heavy doors, but they're easy to install. And what I wanna do is I wanna check the crowning on this. A couple little pops there, and we're looking good. There we go, that looks really, really good. There's no gaps there. Now, these Hinges are adjustable on these doors. So, it's beautiful. So you have this guy here, it's a 3 16 Allen. Allen, this uh, doesn't move. And then you have an Allen at the bottom there. And this will allow the door to, in its opening, you know, pitch to, you know, side to side, in and out as needed. Really, really nice hinges, super expensive. This is actually moving it out and in. But this hinge down here, underneath, you spin that and that lifts the whole, the whole door. Sometimes whenever these uh, manufacturers are giving you these doors, they're not, they're not setting these hinges perfectly because it's, it's not in a door opening. There's uh, variables and so they leave it alone for the installer to actually install. Look at that. Let's take a look at how this closes up. All right, there we go. At this point, we'll go ahead and just finish the door up. It's uh. It's all operating the way it's supposed to. Locks very, very well, and uh, we'll go from there. See you on the other side.
Thanks guys for watching the video and how we would take on a French door. It's vinyl, it's an Anlin Malibu French door. And as I was saying, as I was pinning the door itself is, I mean, they're pretty user friendly um, and it's just really all about using the levels. I mean, if you don't use levels whenever you're pinning a door like that, you'll be in big trouble. So you'll have the doors that are rubbing on the bottom really bad or gaps just look terrible. Use your levels. Remember to always start with a flat base. Uh, when you're doing a sliding door or even a French door. And with a French door, you don't want to have shims built up in the center where you have the frame at the bottom is crowning up and gives you no ability to move the door open and close. It just rubs all the time. Uh, that's just one of the, I've had that problem once whenever I first started doing French doors and I was like shimming everything and the center became a problem for me. So I had to pull the door out, pull all the shims out and just do the edges. I always do the edges only and then uh, do big, buildup of caulking in the center. Bearing all that in mind, um, hopefully you found this interesting, helpful. If you have any questions, leave them at the comments below. Talk to you later. Hey guys, if you live in the Ventura or Long Beach area and are interested in a free in-home estimate, go to our website, AmericanWindowConcepts.com and we'll reach back out to you as soon as possible. If you guys find this information valuable and you want to continue to learn more about windows and doors, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.